Hey Scorbs, happy birthday. Welcome to your bonus birthday, wait, bonus birthday reading for Scorbs. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little tongue tied there for a second. Um, so this is how it's gonna work guys. Uh, we're gonna do three different draws because I wanna try to get as many messages as possible for different groups of Scorpios since this is a very, very, very general reading. I'm not even using a timeline to try to focus in the energy because I might pick up on something that's past, present, or like something that's coming in the near future. And you'll know, I mean, it'll resonate with you if it's your story. These are very general guys, so it's not gonna be for every Scorpio and that's why I wanna do three different draws because eh, it's your birthday season and it's your birthday, so. <laughs> that's why I wanna do three different draws. Thank you guys again for liking commenting and subscribing i really appreciate all the support i have and especially because i have a lot of new subscribers that's also why i want to do three different draws because i think there's a lot of different scorpios going through different stuff now i will say in the pre-shuffle i had a lot of different messages that did come out all right and i'm just going to keep it super general i didn't elaborate on them because i was shuffling to get into your guys's energy so the different things i saw Someone, I saw four of wands in reverse with a king of swords in reverse. So someone is definitely going through a breakup with an Aquarian of some kind or uh, someone with a lot of air energy or throwing air energy at them. It almost seems like someone just stopped talking, stopped communicating, and it just led to the breakup or break in foundation. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but it could be any sign really. You know, it's just the energy that's there. So that was one message. Um, I saw very something really interesting. It was five of pentacles in reverse with ten of pentacles in the center with Knight of Cups in reverse on the on the side of it. Immediately, I just felt like that middle card, the Ten of Pentacles, was representing the Scorpio, which I know sounds really strange. Usually those cards never represent people, but that's definitely what I was picking up really strongly. Just surrounded by all this negative energy and people who are like emotionally manipulative or emotionally, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like just twisted, just, you know, just not right, just dysfunctional. But you're like created created this little bubble around you, which I thought was really fascinating. So you're protecting yourself really strongly from all that shit that's going on around you. So good job, Scorps, whoever is resonating with that. Um, what was the other thing I saw? Oh, I saw the Four of Swords with the um, Four of Wands upright with the Ten of Swords in reverse. So someone has just finished healing a commitment and foundation and they're just coming out of that so congratulations there too so out of all that there's only one that was kind of like not so awesome and that's the one you know where going through a breakup with prob most probably most probable i don't know words i'm sorry an air sign or someone with air like energy oh and i forgot i did see the knight of pentacles with the king of cups so someone is definitely moving towards a Scorpio with abundance and love and commitment and all that good stuff. They're just coming in real, real slow. So <laughs> sorry about that. I mean, I know it sucks to wait. Scorpios are really impatient. <laughs> we just are. There's not a criticism. We just are. It's like, that's what makes us impulsive. That's why we're known for our, like, our, you know, I, I, I don't know a sound to indicate venom stinging, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but that's why we're like that. You know, it's, we get very impatient and then it, Sometimes we shoot venom out a little too impulsively, but that's because we're impatient. We like to get shit done, make shit happen now. We're not about waiting around for stuff to happen. Okay, now let's do this first draw here. Messages for my Scorps. Any messages for my Scorpios? Any messages for my Scorpios? Ay -ay -ay. Any messages for my Scorpios? Hmm. Interesting. Um. All of a sudden, I got hit with a really, like, not-so-awesome energy. It's kind of hitting me in my gut, which has been really active lately. I think my solar plexus so chakra has just been really, really active in picking up on a lot of stuff. Like, this is weird. I'm sensing, um, a sorrow? I'm sensing sorrow, but there's fun going on around you? Um, like, it's, you're part of the fun, but you're just, like, there's so much sorrow I'm sensing, and it, it's just, it's a very weird energy. Um, almost like someone who forces themselves to go out, like, okay, someone with who suffers from depression or social anxiety, um, just forcing themselves to go out and have fun, even if it's really torturous. Um, and that could even be for someone that you're connecting with. It might not even just be you. It's like, it's a very, very weird energy that just kind of hit me out of nowhere. Um, all right. Sorry, I just had to say the message. All right, any messages for my Scorpios? Any messages for my Scorpios? Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Remember, guys, these are very general. They will not resonate with every Scorpio. If it resonates, fantastic. If it doesn't, it's just not your story. Don't buy my head off. 
<laughs> messages come through for those who really need to hear them, you know? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Messages from my Scorps. Messages from my Scorpios. Oh, interesting. Messages from my Scorpios. Oh, got a peeker. Hold on, let me try to get this one out. There we go. Messages from my Scorpios. Oh. Man, this Five of Swords has been coming up a lot. Not just in Scorpio readings, but like in general. Like, I think this is just the theme going on right now for this season. Okay. Wow, that damn Aquarian again. So, <laughs> overall energy, the Aquarian card, the King of Swords. Um, could also be Gemini or Libra, but this is the Aquarian card. Double air sign. Okay, lots and lots of air. So this is someone who communicates, but... People don't really appreciate their communication style, um, from what I'm sensing. It's just like, it's just very harsh, very tactful, very, ab not tactful, sorry, not tactful. It's a little abrasive, but it's just because they just like to be precise and they just like to be very clear and to the point and they don't like to waste time. They like to be efficient. I can appreciate that energy. <clears throat> now we have Two of Pentacles, my um, struggle with the juggle card, Queen of Swords in reverse. I... To me, that says absolutely no communication. And it's funny because you have a pair here, guys. My Scorpios. There's a pair going on here. But one person is feeling all right and strong and confident. The other person is kind of... Um, not that they're not confident. They're just... They're so frustrated. Like, I'm sensing frustrated, annoyed. And it's funny because it's like... There's no communication about these feelings. <laughs> There's no communication about these feelings, but these feelings are just there and it's stopping the communication, even though it needs to be talked about. Wow. Don't know how that's going to work, guys. And we have Five of Swords. This is my defeat card. Mm, yeah, this goes hand in hand here. It's like, I almost want to put the cards like this. I feel like you guys, n not necessarily mirroring each other. Some of you might be, especially if you're in a twin flame relationship. Um or situ situationship, as the most people like, most readers like to say. Anytime I get a pair like this in a reading, it's definitely indicative of a possible twin flame energy. That could be for some of you, not all of you, but I'm sensing this is right in between the two of you. It's almost like a mutual energy, and it's so funny because you guys are very connected mentally, and it's like almost telepathically for some of you, so it's like you both are aware, but you both are like, just not wanting to talk about it. It's like the big fat elephant in the room. The big fat, big fat pink sword in the room. <laughs> anyway. And then we have the hermit card. The Virgo card. Yeah, someone's doing a lot of um, introspection work here. Which is good. I'm feeling really good about that, actually. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Upright. Alright, so that's a, that's a get. Oh, yeah. That's funny. Um, I always say this is, a, you know, a new beginning of abundance, which it is. It totally is. But it is a gift, and I'm getting gift really strongly. I think someone's contemplating about giving a gift. It might even be a surprise. Um, but you guys aren't talking about the big fat pink sword in the room, so I don't know. I don't know how this surprise is going to fix that. I, that's what I'm thinking. Like, one of one of the individuals thinks giving a gift, like, and this is what they're contemplating about giving this really, really nice gift. And it's a big fat pentacle, guys. It's not just going to be like, um, um, oh, I got you a sandwich. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> mm. No, no, no. This is something substantial. Substantial. But I feel like they almost think doing that is just going to make this feeling go away. But only talking about it is going to make it go away. You know what I mean? And this juggling, this juggling is really bothering me. All right, so let's look at juggling first. Ay, ay, ay. What an interesting situation. <laughs> um, and don't forget, this Queen of Swords is also water, guys. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All queens are water energy. Okay, but she also has the um, air element, and specifically Libra. All right, so you, you guys could be a cusper. You guys could be a cusper. You could be dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius or, you know, general air sign. There's a lot of air here. There's a lot of air and, oh yeah, there's only air and earth and then a little water, which is, this is definitely you, Scorps, for sure. This is you. Um, could always be vice versa, sure, but as I'm feeling the energy, this is you. You're like, you're kind of just ready to be done with this person. You don't really want to be, though. Wow, this is, you two are funny. <laughs> You two are so funny. It's like you both want to be with each other, but you don't want to deal with the with whatever this is. And we'll elaborate. We will. Um, 
But I feel like you, Scorps, you're more done than the person you're dealing with. Because they, I think, yeah, I think they think they can just make it go away with a nice gift or surprise. Okay. <laughs> Clarify two of pentacles. Clarify two of pentacles for my Scorpios. Clarify two of pentacles for my Scorpios. Clarify two of pentacles for my Scorpios. It's going to have to be addressed, guys. I mean, someone's going to have to talk about it. Um, and like I said, I don't feel like it's mirroring energy, but a couple of you might be mirroring this, but I don't think it's the Scorpio that initiated it. Does that make sense? I feel like if for those of you who are mirroring each other, again, not very many of you, your person had these feelings and is now mirroring it onto you. Okay? You, you understand what I'm saying? Specifically for Twin Flames. Claire, those just flew out. Hold on a second. All right, I'll leave those two there. Once I finish my method, we'll see what's going on. All right, clarify the two of pentacles. Clarify the two of pentacles for my scorps. Clarify the two of pentacles for... Oh, wow. Okay, this juggle, whatever this juggle is, I don't know who's juggling. And it could also be finding a balance, but I'm feeling it's more juggling than anything else. There's a lot... Wow, there's a lot going on here, guys. Okay, and I really don't like it. All of a sudden, I feel I feel defensive. Uh, clarify two of pentacles. Clarify two of pentacles. Someone is definitely feeling defensive. I just don't know who it is. All right, overall energy for the two of pentacles, we have the knight of swords. Again, communication. So someone knows they have to talk. Someone knows, and they're, they're charging in to talk. This is also Gemini energy. We literally have... <laughs> I can't believe this. We literally have all three air signs here. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Wow. Very interesting. Okay. Let's see these other cards that came out here. Another Libra card. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have a lot of cards, so I'm just gonna show I'm just gonna do them in two sections because they kind of came out in two sections. And I'll tell you what I think is going on. So for this first section, to clarify the Two of Pentacles, we have Justice with High Priestess, uh, Pisces energy for me, and Gemini energy for me, a Libra energy, and then the Chariot in Reverse, Cancer card. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't like this, guys. This feels like secrets. Um, this feels like secrets. But interesting, not moving forward though. So these secrets are going to come to light, but I don't think it's going to be through this first communication. I almost feel like um, it's justified that these secrets come out into light. That's why the justice card is here because some, not, like you know, not so kosher shit went down. Um, and if you have cancer in your chart, you're not seeing it. If you have specifically, if you have cancer in your chart, your partner's cancer in your chart, it's just not being seen. Someone's not tapping into their intuition, but bringing it back. Sorry, don't get don't get lost, guys. Um, yeah, you guys are gonna talk. You will. Communication is definitely gonna happen, <laughs> whether you want to or not. Communication. I almost feel like you guys are two alphas. Like someone's gonna drive, come in really hard and quick to talk. Um, but they're not going to divulge all the information up front. It's like they'll tell you stuff that the big stuff, <clears throat> the big stuff that needs to be addressed right, right away, including um, including giving you this gift. But for this, for the really hard to swallow stuff, that's going to come in a conversation after that is how, how I'm feeling it. You know what I mean? It's almost like priming the person. Like when you have something that you want to tell someone and you kind of drag your feet and then events happen that are stemming from that one event that you wanted to tell them and then it just snowballs. You're like, well, shit, I didn't tell them about that. And now all of this has happened. How do I tell them everything now at this point? So they're going to like prime you by giving you a gift and saying, there's some stuff you don't know about. Here's A and B. And then they're going to come to you later. I don't know, you know, I can't tell you how much later. I can't really pick up on that. It's going to be very different for everybody. It could be like a week to like months later for depending on who you are. Um, sorry, it's just the truth. I'm just reading for a lot of different Scorpios right now who are dealing with this situation. Um, and then they're going to come to you and be like, by the way, remember that thing I told you that A and B? Uh, here's C, D, E, F, and G. 
Oh, I sh you know, it's like, I, I laugh because it's almost childlike. It's almost, um, like they think they're that smooth. Like, I think you guys are going to know in that first conversation that there's more that they're not saying, but I think you guys know better to not push because this person, I think, I think you're dealing with a person who's had a rough go in relationships. Okay. You guys have had a, yeah, they've had a rough go in relationships and you know that you guys are a pair. You know that you guys know that you're a pair. And so you're like, again, not all of you, but some of you are like, okay, this is worth working out. I'll just be patient and they need more. They clearly need more time. They clearly need more time. But yeah, specifically if you're a cancer, because uh, cancers are really intuitive as well. Or if you're dealing with a cancer of cancer in your chart, sorry, I know that's specifically for Scorpios. Um, yeah, you know. <laughs> I think you might already even know the full truth, especially because you guys are, if you have that telepathic twin flame uh, you know, connection, you already know the full truth, which is like a very hard thing to swallow, but you're just waiting for them to come clean with it. And since they haven't, that's also why you're in this mode of like, well, fuck this. If they can't, if they can't man up or woman up or whatever, then it's like, why should I even bother? That's why you guys are, are not talking. Okay. Not all of you, but some of you. Okay. Now the next line, we have nine of pentacles in reverse. Um, that's also the Virgo cards. So we have two Virgo cards here too. <laughs> the queen of swords in reverse guys. Double confirmation, that's you. Uh, seven of Wands. Yeah, like I said, someone's feeling defensive. King of Wands. I think, yeah, I think this is your person. Very king-like energy, which is great. I mean, this is also fire and more air. So this is specifically the Leo card, Leo and Aquarius. Um, oh, sorry, I got distracted. Those are one sevens. Doesn't matter, doesn't, doesn't apply. I just... Right, made that connection. Anyway, Aquarius energy, Leo energy, also could be Sag, Aries, or any other air sign. With the Five of Swords in reverse. So, this is current. To me, this feels this feels very present. Okay, so this reading as I'm reading it right now feels very present and doesn't feel past, okay? This, I feel like, is, is um, immediate future. And I mean immediate. Like, that's what I'm sensing with this. I'm not always going to get... Um, awesome timelines guys because they're you know timelines are really hard um but i feel like your partner's feeling this in the immediate future but they not might not come clean with the full um picture and truth for months for some of you make sense okay now let's look at these two so i'm trying to see how i can hold this effectively so you guys can see it i have very tiny hands so just bear with me okay so do you guys see what i see here this is your partner, this is you, and this is right in the middle, okay? De defensive, defensive. And it's funny because I understand why the Scorpio feels defensive. The other person I don't feel has a right to be defensive, unless maybe you kind of stung, stung them a little harder than anticipated. <laughs> mm. Or maybe some of you are so just tired of the shit that you're like, I don't want your gift. Keep your damn gift and that made them defensive that i could see that happening so let's address you guys first okay so again queen of swords it's that same energy that you are in now you're gonna be in it for a little while it is what it is with the knight of pentacles in reverse knight of pentacles upright for me as a reader this is not the explicit reading this is just for me as a reader it's the knight that comes in to bring you offers of abundance but also obstacles to aid growth okay so the explicit meaning is to bring abundance my meaning that I feel with, with Knight of Pentacles usually is bringing in an obstacle to help grow. But it's in reverse, so it, it's it's not happening, okay? And you and I think, Scorpios, you know that something needs to happen, like a big, almost like a, like a fall. I don't know why I'm getting the word fall. Like fall apart. Oh, this is interesting. I just saw the Nine of Wands. Like one last fight. One last fight. You guys know this is needed, but it's not happening. So I think that's also why you're staying in this energy. And I don't feel like you think it's... It's not a fight for you. It's something on their end that they need to do. It's something on their end that you know they need, but you know that they're not doing it. They're not going for it. They're not embracing that last <clears throat> obstacle, that last hurdle to fully put this energy away. 
but you know, they're trying and it's, they're trying. This doesn't mean it's, it's, I'm not feeling this is actually in full completion of removing this energy. This is them trying to remove it because they're very aware of it. And again, for those of you in that mirroring situation, they know it came from them. All right. It's like almost like they're waking up to how telepathic you two are, like how connected you two are. And they're realizing they need to get rid of this defeated feeling. Yeah. And it's like it's almost like they step to you with this gift and they're talking. And some of you are like, I know this isn't the whole fucking truth. Like and it just makes you close up. It makes you put that wall up. Be patient, guys. Oh, be patient. Be patient, be patient, be patient. It's funny because, you know, they start out as the King of Swords who just sits back and, ta and talks and watches and thinks, 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 thinks a lot. This person is in their head a fucking lot, guys. <laughs> oh my God. And you know what both of you are? It's so funny. Yeah, there's a, there's, okay, there's some mirroring going on here for sure. Both of you are so in your heads. And then he takes on the King of Wands energy. I keep saying he, it doesn't have to be a he. And he keeps taking on King, and he goes on to take on King of Wands energy, which is all about taking action. So he's thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. Now I can go in and take action with this person. But I'm telling you, you're you're still stuck in the Queen of Swords energy. So some of you guys are, are going to go for it. Most of you, I think, are just going to be annoyed and defensive. But you're going to try to be patient. So I think it's going to take some time to resolve this issue, guys. But they are coming. They're coming your way. And this juggle card. I mean, like I said, guys, there's secrets. And they definitely, I think, were juggling um, multiple people. I think that's part of why it's it's so hard for them to come forward with this. Like, maybe you guys met and were just dating. And maybe they didn't think they would get serious with you. And so they kind of started to invest in their other options. And they realized, oh, shit, I love this person. Um, what do I do now? Like, I've slept with this many people. What do I do now? I shouldn't laugh, but it's like, again, it's almost like childlike mentality. Like, did you not take it seriously? <laughs> right? Um, so sorry, Scorps. That's kind of a bummer. But, you know, you guys are kind of sitting pretty in that situation. It's they, they realize they, they're the ones that have to come forward. Okay? They realize it. All right. So that was the first one. Let's do number two. Number Oh, that's funny. Number two at 2222. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> if I could pick these up. Shit. Okay move on to another another group let's see if we can get different messages if we get the same stuff guys i apologize sometimes that happens especially because keep in mind the seventh tomorrow oh uh, is the new moon that is going to affect twin flames for sure um and anyone who is is in like a weird transitional phase in their relationships whether it's like beginning or ending um it's gonna it's gonna be interesting and then the day after on the 8th jupiter transitions and if you follow vedic it goes into scorpio if you follow western it goes into sag all right um people you know follow whatever you want to follow i'm not going to tell you what's what um people find vedic to be more accurate is what i will say from my observation and experience um but you know depending on what's going on maybe you want to pay attention to western maybe it's just more seems a lot more beneficial for your sign at the time whatever shop for your blessing that's totally fine um all right messages for my scorpios messages for my scorpios messages for my scorpios let's see what we got here messages for my scorpios hopefully we don't get the same stuff Oh, interesting. We already got some different cards, but it doesn't feel that different. <laughs> I'll be honest, it doesn't feel super different. Any messages for my Scorpios? Any messages for my Scorpios? And because we're in Scorpio season, guys, and it's been an intense Scorpio season, I there's been so much energy that I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, wow, twin flame energy. This might be the same group. Let's see. Any messages for my Scorpios? Any messages for my Scorpios? Holy shit! What? Sorry, I'm just... Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Overall energy is the sun. Complete joy and freedom. Complete joy and freedom. Mm. Doesn't that feel good? Wow. 
I cannot believe what I'm seeing, guys. I'm sorry. I know. You're like, what, what, what? <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah, this is definitely going to resonate with the first reading, but I think this is also for um, a subgroup of that group, if that makes any sense. All right, so let's check this out. So the first line that came out, and they, it's funny, they all came out in threes. And I've been seeing that a lot personally myself. Um, and I've noticed other readers have mentioned that too, like 333. Three, three. And I think just because of the season and the transitions that, transitions that are happening, um, a lot of people are seeing that who are very in touch with spirit and the divine. Sorry, got a weird message. So anyway, I literally had three lines that came out with three cards each. So the first line, two of cups, soulmate energy. A uh, ton of pentacles in reverse. I'm a little concerned about that. Um, you know, pentacles don't have to mean just money, guys. It can mean anything in the 3D. So that could mean materials like clothes, a car, a house. Um, it could also just mean health, you know. For right now, I'm actually picking up health on this on this line. And seven of swords in reverse. So that's the first line. Um, and I'll, I'll show you all the cards and I'll just go line by line. Lovers. Lovers. This is also my twin flame card, guys. And this is also Gemini energy. Ten of cups. Mm. Complete emotional joy and fulfillment in love and family and yumminess. And the high priestess bringing balance and intuition. This is the all-knowing mother, right? Also a Gemini card for me. Lots of Gemini energy. Virgo card in reverse. The hermit card in reverse. So someone's done being introspective. Someone's done thinking about what they want. However, strength card in reverse. Sensing two things with that. Someone's letting go of control, and someone also needs to dig deep for strength. Five of Pentacles, because they feel like they're out in the cold. Okay, now, let's go back to this first line. <laughs> this is intense. So, <laughs> Two of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and Seven of Swords in reverse. So, I feel like if you are, no, yeah, this is for people in a partnership, for sure. Oh. Uh, one of you is dealing with an illness, a chronic illness, and you're not really vocalizing it to your partner. It doesn't have to be you. It could also be your partner. Um, it's not something that is fatal. It's just like a chronic, it, it's like a chronic thing. Like it could be IBS. It could be, excuse me. Um, I don't know. What else is not fatal? I'm like, I'm, not, I'm actually not good at diseases, guys. I'm like, what, what other diseases are not fatal that are just like ongoing chronic? Um... You know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Don't make me think that hard. Um, I'm sensing that definitely for some of you guys. Also, there's there's some money issues here. For those of you that are married, there's definitely some money problems going on right now. Um, yeah, I keep getting this sense of, like, hidden. 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 Like, I'm surprised the moon card's not out here, but I guess had to come out in threes of three. <laughs> um... Something hidden about the financial hardship. Like maybe they just... Someone hiding money? Someone's hiding money. I don't like that. I mean, this feels like it leads to good stuff, but I'm like, I'm just picking up little things for different Scorpios. Yeah, someone's hiding money. Yeah, I keep seeing these two together. Um, and someone's going back at what they've done. Like looking back at what they've done regarding money. But it affects their soulmate. So that's what makes me think it's like someone you live with or someone that you're married to or someone that you share an asset with. You, you know, you don't have to live together. You can still share assets. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So those are just little messages I'm picking up. But for the major collective, see if I can pick these up again. For, oh, Jesus. For the major collective, I'm just sensing that um, there's something coming to light that was deceptive about um, someone. Oh, someone's own family or own home environment like indefinitely environment that their soulmate just doesn't know about okay so let's clarify the seven of swords in reverse let's clarify the seven of swords in reverse for my scorpios clarify seven of swords in reverse for my scorpios clarify seven of swords in reverse for my scorpios clarify seven of swords in reverse for my scorpios yeah, and for those of you where it's like your partner's not talking about the illness, I wouldn't worry. I don't feel like it's something contagious. I feel like it's something they literally just, like, have to live with that's not going to kill them, that doesn't really physically affect you, um, but they're just don't, they're not telling you about it, um, but you might suspect already. Uh, clarify Seven of Swords in reverse. 
clarify seven of swords in reverse i feel like i sensed this on another reading but i can't remember what sign it was for oh well clarify seven of swords in reverse you know if it resonates <laughs> if you know you know if it's your story clarify seven of swords in reverse Clarify Seven of Swords in reverse. Huh. Clar Whoa. Oh, clarify Seven of I know I'm making all kinds of noises, guys. Like, this, these readings are, are really shocking me, actually. Oh, this is weird. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, oh. I, oh, I don't like this. Okay, overall energy is the Queen of Cups in reverse, guys. So this is like throwing tantrums. Okay, this is someone who has no emotional control whatsoever. Okay, very childlike. But this is why I don't like it. I'm not sensing it's you or your partner. It's someone external. And they're flipping the fuck out. Wow, okay. Yeah, they're flipping the fuck out. The, okay, yeah, this is definitely having to do with their environment. Someone that they were dealing with. And this does not pertain to people who are living with their partner. This is for, like, you know, boyfriend, girlfriends, or fiancés, whatever. But you're with someone that you're not living with, okay? <sighs> yeah, I do. Ooh, I do not like this at all. Um, yeah, they were messing around with this person. Whether it was before you or not, you know your story. And it's very cancer-like energy. Water on top of water. This is a very emotional person. A very emotionally unstable person. Um, that your partner dealt with at one point in time, again, before you or even while they were with you. Um, and they're not even dealing with this person anymore. But this person is so upset and so emotional that it's actually threatening their home environment, not yours, but theirs. But I think you're going to find out about it. Wow, yeah, you're going to find out about it. So the four cards that came out about came out to clarify the Seven of Swords, we have Six of Swords, upright, the Double, surprise, surprise, Capricorn Energy, um, the Fool, uh, and the Hanged Man up in reverse, Pisces Energy. <sighs> okay, so I'll tell you right now, uh, your partner... Again, detached from them or has attempted to detach from them. But there's a weird, sickening bond between the two of them. I just got to call it like I see it, guys. Don't get mad at me, cross watchers. Um, there's a really sick bond between the two of them. And I don't know. Sorry, I'm like, I'm actually really disgusted. It feels like a very, very toxic situation. And they're just like, they're bonded. It's like, it's like bondage. I keep getting the word bondage. Like, like they can't get away from this person. But why can't they get away from them? Yeah, it's like they're trying so hard to move past this person. They're trying, but they can't. They're stuck. They're trapped. All right? If they weren't, if they released them, this would be in reverse. And they realize that they were a fool to even deal with them in the first place. Your partner. And again, they've been trying to separate from this person. I'm sensing that not... You know, not all of you, not all of your partners have completely detached physically from this person because they are very emotionally unstable. I wouldn't be surprised if there's someone who like threatens to hurt themselves. Not, I'm not like, I'm not trying to say shit about mental illness, guys. I mean, everyone's got a little mental illness. I suffer from depression myself. I get it. But it's like this person uses it as manipulation. Like that's how dysfunctional they are. And your partners realize what a fool they were for dealing with this person. And now they're like, have this weird sick bond that they're having trouble getting out of. Um, but your partner realizes how crazy they are now. Okay. I think something happened recently. Something happened, happened to prompt this, this revelation for your partner. Maybe they did some crazy shit that you don't know about. And, oh, yeah. Oh, this feels very, like, Fatal Attraction-like. Um, please be careful, guys. This feels like someone who could potentially turn into someone dangerous or just someone who's, like, a stalker. I know that sounds extreme, but I'm reading for a lot of people, so for some of you, that does apply. It's just, it's very disturbing energy. It's very disturbing energy, and they want your partner bad, and they want your, your partner all to themselves, and they're crazy right now, Okay. And who knows, maybe your partner led them on. Maybe your partner fed them some lies too. I don't see that, but I wouldn't be surprised. The Seven of Swords is out here, guys. And this is about 
revisiting the scene of the crime, okay? Um, yeah, so and like I said, it's like almost like this person keeps trying to pull them back, pull them back, pull them back, pull them back in. Oh, this is sick. Um, I just, I really don't like it. It's like a really, really sick energy. So I'm going to move on. You guys got the message. You got the gist. Is your partner going to go back to them? They know how crazy they are. <laughs> they know how crazy they are and they know that you're their soulmate. And for those of you twins, like I said, I'm sensing twin flame energy. They want to be with you. They just don't know how to get rid of this crazy person, but they realize they, they really have to for those who have not. And they realize how foolish it was to even be involved with this person. Wow. Okay, let's move on to better energy. So we have <laughs> the lovers. The lovers with the Ten of Cups and the High Priestess. Very, very nice energy. And like I said, it's like this, this column right here, this is total twin flame energy. So like I said, this is not going to apply for most of you. For some of you who know you're in a twin flame situation, this feels really good, guys. It's like... It's like you both are finally awake. You both are finally connected and know that you are supposed to be together and that this is what you guys will have together. And it just feels amazing. I don't even, honestly, I don't even need to clarify it. I don't even need to clarify this line. It is so crystal clear. It is so crystal clear. You found your person. You found your match. You found your twin. And they they realize it too. They realize it too. Um, especially if, you know, you're the their twins dealing with this revelation. I think that's, Part, you know what? That might be part of why they realize how crazy this person is because they realize how amazing it is with you. You understand? Still shaking off that, that person. That person is sick. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I know I sound really judgmental. I'm not trying to sound judgmental. It's like, it's just such a manipulative energy. It's like, yeah, they're emotionally unstable and they're emotionally very sensitive in a like in an inappropriate way, but... They're also manipulative, guys. They're trying so hard to manipulate your partner. It's ridiculous. Now, let's move on to this next line. Hermit in reverse with strength in reverse with the five of pentacles. So yeah, someone did some some introspective work. They did some meditating. And they're coming out of that. They're realizing how they have to release, release, release excuse me, some control. They have to release some control here. Um... Yeah, it's interesting. Like, they felt really out in the cold, but they put themselves out in the cold. That's the weird, that's like the weirdest thing here. They put themselves out in the cold. Yeah, I don't feel the need to clarify this either. That feels really clear. And it feels like it's your partner. It doesn't feel like it's you. It might be you, because vice versa. It's all energy, right? But as I'm reading it, this feels like your partner. Yeah, this feels like a reading mostly for your partner, not for you. <laughs> Okay, that's weird. I would just be wary of that, like, tendency. They might do that, like, they might feel neglected or abandoned, but they run away, and you don't chase them, because you're like, well, if you're running, you must need space. So you give them space, and then they're like, why aren't they talking to me? <laughs> why aren't they coming after me? Because you ran away. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this person is finding the strength, too, um, in, in realizing a lot of these things, um, but they're also realizing they need to let go of some control issues, some alpha issues, for sure. Some alpha domineering issues. That's funny. Okay, guys. On to number three. I know it's going to be a long video. I'm hoping it'll be timestamped. I have a couple people um, doing some awesome timestamps for me. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get a different story, Scorpios. <laughs> I mean, like I said, that felt like... Um, um, like a subgroup of the first group. But, I, you know, let's get something different. For my other Scorps that are trying really hard to get some messages for themselves. Any other messages for Scorpios? Any other messages for Scorpios? I'm going to shuffle these real good, guys. Any messages for Scorpios? Any other messages for Scorpios? Again, guys, this could be past, present, and near future, but I'm feeling a lot of this is really present stuff. I could be wrong for some of you, but that's how I'm just feeling for the major collective. Any other messages from my Scorpios? Do two more shuffles. I want it to be really shuffled. Any messages from my Scorpios? And number two. Any messages from my Scorpios? Let's see here. Any messages from my Scorpios? Any messages from my Scorpios? 
Any messages for my Scorpios? Think positive, guys. Think positive. Any messages for my Scorpios? Any messages for my Scorpios? I mean, honestly, so far, it just seems like whoever you're dealing with just doesn't can't let you go. They love you. They know they want to be with you. <laughs> I tried, guys. I really did try. <laughs> Overall energy is the sun. Leo card. Could be a Leo. Could have Leo in your chart. Uh, freedom, joy. I'm sensing so much happiness. It's ridiculous. And you know, my guys just gave me a message. It's almost like your angels are smiling on you. Um, for some of you, yeah, like literally for some of you, your angels and your guides have been watching you very, like a lot closer than usual the last few months. Um, and they're, they're, they're really smiling on you because they're realizing that you're getting the things you deserve and the things that make you really happy. And it's only going to lead to good things, not just for you, but for the people around you. And that's divine work, right? Now we have seven of pentacles. This is someone who's kind of waiting a little bit and just looking at the investment that they've made so far. See the seeds that they've planted. Five of cups. Someone's crying over spilt milk. Someone's crying when they don't need to be. <laughs> that's, that's how I see this card. Um, they're crying over what's been lost, but they still have they still possess happiness. They do. They just, they're not paying attention to it. They're not paying attention to what they have. And I don't feel like this is you, Scorps. I feel like this is external or someone you're dealing with. And then King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. This, and don't forget Scorps, Taurus is your seventh house. Your house of partnership. This is your partner. Okay, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but Taurus energy more so than anything else. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, hmm. Oh. I feel like this might, wow, this is so much about your partner as opposed to you. I'm sorry, sorry, Scorps. I don't know if you want that or not. That's just how I'm seeing it. Let's look at King of Pentacles first, see who you're dealing with, and then we'll look at these two cards. Clarify King of Pentacles. Clarify King of Pentacles from my Scorpios. Clarify King of Pentacles from my Scorpios. Clarify King of Pentacles, my Scorpios. Clarify King of Pentacles. Okay. Clarify King of Pentacles, my Scorpios. Clarify King of Pentacles, my Scorpios. So honestly, guys, it just seems like you guys are gonna be really happy. So happy birthday! <laughs> just watch out for that Queen of Cups lady. Oh my God! Seriously, watch out for her. And she seems like a, well. <laughs> she seems like a younger energy whether she's older or not it's like the energy feels younger than it should be um yeah I don't it's like I just my guides were pushing me to say that I don't really know what that's supposed to mean but there's the message <laughs> clarify the king of pentacles yeah so far the one awesome card came out I'll show, I'll show you guys don't worry clarify king of pentacles Clarify King of Pentacles. Clarify King of Pentacles. Clarify King of... Oh, interesting. Clarify King of Pentacles. Damn, I tried to get different messages, guys. I really did. Let's see what we got here. That damn King of Wands again. Okay. So overall energy surrounding the King of Pentacles. Six of Cups. So reminiscing about good times, reminiscing about you, thinking about you, um, really building a lot of good memories together. That's really beautiful, actually. I really like that. Um, I'm just not fond of the other cards that came out. So I had a card. I had cards come out in one batch, and then I had the one card come out before that. This is the one card that came out before that, the Ten of Cups. So they think about you, even having children with you, having a family, like they, they want to marry you. I'm just going to say it. They want to marry you. They, they know you're the one. They just got all this other shit they got to deal with. <laughs> so the four cards that came out to clarify King of Pentacles, we have uh, seven of Pentacles in reverse with the hanged man. Um, and then we have seven of cups in reverse with the K King of Wands. Look familiar? Oh, that's funny. He was, he was up and then I put him in reverse. With the King of uh, Wands. Look familiar, right, guys? Um, yeah, they're feeling a little stuck. 
They know they want a family with you. They know they want a future with you. They know that they want to make you their spouse. But they know they've made some bad investments along the way. Okay? They've made some bad investments along the way. It's making them feel stuck and very confused. Um, and like I said, like it almost seems like they've had options at one point. But they're, they're getting rid of that. They're getting rid of that. But they're also still very confused. And they know they have to take action with you. Um, they not only have to take action and give you passion and lust, but also give you, if I can pull this up, abundance. Because, and there, it's so funny, the reason the King of Cups isn't out here is because they already know they have this with you. Whether how new this union is or not, it's like, they know the love is there. So they don't even have to question about giving that to you because they know that they're in the process of giving that to you already. Okay, does that make sense? Um, but they know they still have to give you the abundance and stability and the passion. They might have even been holding back a lot of the t a lot up until recently and I think that's because they've been feeling this the five of cups energy um but before we get into the five of cups because honestly based on the last readings I did I think this is just about whatever relationship was before that or like getting rid of that queen of cups it's like you know people come in your life for a reason and it's always nice at first and then it goes to shit like like anything like any relationship so I'm kind of feeling that's what this is mostly about um oh oh man this is Man, your partners have a lot of sorrow, okay? I just picked up on something. Um, they're crying over spilled milk and not seeing what's right in front of them because they don't feel like they deserve it. Like, almost like they've been crying their whole life inside. Like, that's that's exactly the message I got. Like, literally someone's been crying inside their entire life about things that they wanted and felt like they just didn't deserve, especially, especially when it comes to... Um, but they love you so much and they want literally this is what they want with you children a home love oh my god like oh my god like, i'm getting emotional um this feeling is gonna go away for them oh i'm sorry guys Ugh, i'm trying to rein it in like you make this feeling go away for them Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, bringing it back. Sorry. I never get emotional like this during readings. It was just really intense. Like literally someone's been crying inside their entire life, however old they are, whether they're 20, 30, 40, 50, and then they meet you oh, and they just know. They just know. Mm. Oh my God. I need to start keeping tissues. <laughs> um, Okay, let's focus on the Seven of Pentacles, and then we'll wrap this up, okay? Because this was the last card that came out, and I feel like this is, um... It's funny, because they had their bad investments, and so now they're looking at the seeds they've planted with you, but I feel like you're also taking on this energy. Like, you're both kind of looking at what you've invested so far. Oh, jeez. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I was like, that's so much emotion that just hit me. It's like, I can't imagine living my life that way, you know, literally crying inside my entire life. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've been through shit. Everyone's been through some shit. But, you know, you find your pockets of strength. You find your pockets of joy. Like, I don't think this person has had that. I think this person's literally put on a facade their whole life. Like, people might even find them very charming and very fun, but they've literally been crying inside their whole life. Oh, my God. Okay, clarify Seven of Pentacles. Clarify Seven of Pentacles for my Scorps. Clarify Seven of Pentacles for my Scorps. Clarify Seven of Pentacles for my Scorps. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, jeez. Oh. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. I'm going to have to go watch like a comedy movie after this something clarify seven of pentacles clarify seven of pentacles clarify seven of pentacles and you know it's like they might never show you that level of emotion like it might be like a very 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 special like circumstance moment where all this might come out oh man Ooh -hoo -hoo. okay th this is this is not what I expected. So to clarify Seven of Pentacles, we have Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is good. This is 
looking at your what you've invested so far in this relationship, both of you are doing this, and it's allowing you to release that negative energy. Like I said, guys, I don't want to touch this card, but I know I have to. Um, it's helping them get rid of this feeling. Okay, because this is what they feel. I don't think you guys feel that at all. But you definitely feel, you know, past stuff, a little residual negative stuff from your past, and all that's being released for both of you, which is really fabulous. Now, the only thing I think is weird. Maybe it'll make sense as I focus on it. These are the cards that came out to clarify the Seven of Pentacles, like how you guys are investing. Um, not how you guys are investing. I don't know why I said that. Um... Uh, looking at what you've invested in each other so far. So we have the Knight of Swords in reverse with the Two of Wands in reverse with Justice in reverse. Um, this is weird. <laughs> it's... It's almost like you guys can't decide. But you guys know. You guys know. You guys know. This is weird. You guys know you're supposed to be together, but there's in, there's like an energy of indecision. Maybe it's just one person, um, but for some of you, it's it's on both sides. Some of you, it's on both sides, but for sure, at least one person's feeling that really strongly. Like they can't, oh, I see. They can't decide to come in and talk about it just yet. But because, you know, someone's dragging their ass, it's like, it's leading to some bad stuff, okay? So you guys got to talk. And I know for Scorpios, it's probably not you guys that have to do the talking. Scorpios are all about getting up in there and finding out all kinds of information. Mm. So it's probably your partner. Don't get frustrated, guys. Um, but I will say cross watchers. And again, if it's vice versa, then Scorpios. You guys got to come forward and talk about this. Because look, I mean, oh my God. Look at what you guys have or could have. Um... And that's only going to come by talking, okay? That's only going to come by talking about making the choice to actually go for these things. You understand what I'm saying? And because you're not doing that, it's like, it's starting to cause problems and frustration and sadness. And it's like, it's leading to like, like unjustified behavior. You know what I mean? It's like, if someone's not treating you properly or the way that you, they should be or the way that you expect them to, it starts to harbor resentment. You know, and like people start to act out. Not not everybody, but some people do. So please be aware of that. Um, wow, Scorps, this was intense. Happy birthday. <laughs> I mean, like I said, even though there's a lot of crap going on, it seems like overall your partner's purging. And they're trying really hard to move towards you. And you guys, you guys are going to have like freedom and happiness together. That's like... Oh, that feels so awesome. I'm really happy for you guys. I'm really happy for you guys. Happy birthday. Please don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and uh, in my weeklies for the 5th to the 11th, I had uh, like the intros for maintenancing and stuff like that. So if you're new and want to know what's up with my channel, go and check out one of those videos. It's like the first three minutes of each of them. Okay, I just, it's a lot of stuff. So I want to reiterate it um, and take up more time since this is almost an hour. Um, but anyway, happy birthday, Scorps. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye.